Hi guys, I'm Ksenia. Welcome to yet another video on my channel St. Petersburg Me. And today I want to answer one of the most frequent questions and comments on my channel. How did you study English? Where did you study English? Your English is so good. Okay guys, today I will tell you my story with English. First of all, I love English very much and which is more important English loves me very much and I think I should uh, start telling you the story from my childhood, from my school years because that is very important and that impacted very much um, how I speak English right now. Okay guys, back in my school years I had been living in Belarus in a very small town uh, in Vitebsk region and um, there were only two schools in my town and uh, I started in the second school and um, we started uh, learning languages from the fifth grade. So when I was studying in the fourth grade or maybe third grade, I don't remember exactly right now, but uh, we had a German channel on TV, fully German, with no translations, no voiceovers, uh, just it was aired in German. And I didn't uh, know German at all. I spoke only Russian and some Belarusian uh, at that time. This channel showed Sailor Moon cartoon and I liked it so much. Each day I was coming back from school and I was watching it. But you know guys, there was a slight problem. I couldn't understand a word because this cartoon was in German. And I thought, okay, okay, I will be in the fifth grade and I will start learning German and I will start understanding everything at once. Okay, so the fifth grade started and it occurred that our school didn't have any German teacher. Our school had only English teachers and I was like, okay, let it be English, okay, okay, just okay. So the school year began and um, I liked English, like okay, it was very easy, it was a very easy subject for me and you know then a new German channel started to air in our town, I don't know how and why, in a Belarusian town a German channel, like it was a musical uh, German channel, uh, Viva, it was called Viva. And there were many different so songs and music videos uh, from America, from Great Britain, many singers, famous singers, and I was like, wow, wow. Uh, and there they aired Britney Spears. And the song was, hit me baby one more time. And I was so fascinated by the music video by Britney Spears. I liked her so much that I was like, oh, oh. luckily, luckily I'm studying English. I will soon be, be able to understand everything that she sings. So, okay, okay, I'm studying it, I'm studying it. And then uh, the fifth grade... Uh, stopped, finished. Summer came and I was like, like, okay, okay, give me more, give me more about English. I want to learn it. I want to understand what she sings uh, and what her songs are about. Okay, so I went to library. Guys, for English, I had to go to library to our town's li library. And there was like a reading reading hall, reading room, and there were uh, teenagers' um, magazines. Can you imagine, like in 2020, that I went to library for English? <laughs> okay, there were um, teenagers' magazines, like for teenagers, and in one of them I found lyrics for this song, Hit Me Baby One More Time. And I um, 
uh, wrote uh, wrote down the the words the lyrics uh, on a piece of paper and I rushed back home just to 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 be able to translate it with a dictionary like with the book book dictionary so I I rushed back home I opened the dictionary and I began translating it can you imagine my 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 disappointment when it occurred that I understand nothing okay I have the words I have the translation but still I'm I don't understand a word I was like oh my god okay I should learn more I should study more so I went to a school's library and asked for some books for reading like you know I was <laughs> at the fifth grade uh, like after fifth grade and I was hoping that I will be able to understand something after a year of studying English at school. At school, like one year at school, it, it, it like it was nothing. <laughs> it was nothing. So, um, and I hope that I will be able to, I would be able to understand anything. So uh, they brought me two books, two, two books at school library in, uh, in 1998, I suppose it was like two English books. One of them was short stories book and uh, the second was um, some kind of geographical book with um, text of uh, cultural reference like Britain. Uh, it, was, uh, it was called uh, Hello Britain or something like that where they described um, British culture, br British politics for children who studied English in Belarus, like, like something like that. So I took those books home. Okay, once again, I opened the dictionary, I started to read, I wrote, uh, I um, read one passage, I translated one passage and you know I couldn't understand anything and you know guys by that time uh, English was my favorite subject at school uh, thanks to Britney Spears so guys I owe my English my love for English to Britney Spears like Britney <laughs> if you are watching my channel if you are watching this video thank you so much for my love to English. Okay, so maybe she will watch. Okay. <laughs> By that time, Titanic was a very popular movie. I saw Leonardo DiCaprio and I was like, oh my God, oh, he speaks English. So I must learn English like harder, harder, more. And then I remember Jennifer um, Lopez uh, and her songs. I was uh, I liked her so much too. Uh, then the next year began. It was uh, the sixth grade, and um, uh, and English is my favorite subject at school. And you know, guys, it was very very easy learning English uh, to me at that time because. I didn't have to learn by heart anything or um, s s like uh, study uh, anything. I just remember remembered everything at once. For example, our teacher was explaining some rule, for example, past simple. And I was like, got it, got it. And I was, uh, and after it, I was just um, doing a tons of, a tons of um, exercises like grammar exercises and and it was like like okay I was always interested in doing more exercises reading more texts learning more new words we were doing a lot of exercises um, uh, during English classes and I can say that my teachers were like very very good i know that many russians and belarusians say that they don't know english uh, well because um, they had bad teachers like they were like really bad 
they didn't explain anything. I don't know. My teachers were great, like great. So, uh, okay, at that time, the teacher that was uh, teaching me English at school, uh, she uh, offered private lessons, uh, but my family didn't have money for, for it. And uh, I was only studying English at school. Uh, but my fellow, my fellow students, like, like classmates, classmates, they um, were taking those uh, extra classes. They paid money for my teacher uh, for extra classes, um, but I, I couldn't. And when I was studying at the seventh grade, my mom understood that uh, I like, I really had passion for English, and. Um, I suppose they saved uh, with my father, they saved some money to pay for extra my extra lessons. So I started to um, take extra English lessons uh, besides school uh, and my English was improving, improving and improving. And the 11th grade was the time when you have to choose your profession because uh, the 11th year at school is the last uh, year at school. So I had um, like two choices. I wanted to be an actress <laughs> because I always attended some theatrical clubs. We were uh, like acting, we were uh, playing uh, some um, performances. I took part in them. And uh, if not acting, I would choose translating or interpreting. So by the end of the year, I was really, really intended to, to be an actress, but my parents didn't allow me to, to enter acting school or acting university. So I chose to be an interpreter. My mom was always thinking that interpreting is some kind an elite, elite profession. Uh, okay, I entered a, a foreign language faculty at a Belarusian university. It was a private university. It is important because after the first year of studies, Belarusian president, Mr. Lukashenko, closed the university uh, for the reason that the university was giving bad education to, to students. I, I didn't see anything bad in, in those classes that I got at that university, but still they transferred us to a local Vitebsk um, pedagogical university and you know guys um, the first uh, the first of September came and it was the first uh, day of of uh, university of studies at the university and you know uh, a week after my classes didn't begin so they begin but uh, we we weren't given the books you know, like a university, university gives you books to study with and our university didn't have time to, to give us books. So um, uh, the learning process started, I paid for it uh, and our teachers at the state pedagogical university uh, couldn't teach us because we didn't have books. So at a private university on the 1st of September, we received, we were given our books for the whole year. And on the 2nd September, uh, we started like studying uh, to using those books uh, in to get our education. And teachers uh, 
taught us some subjects, a lot of subjects uh, actually, and in a week we had to make an essay or a report on some topic. And at the same time at the State University, after a week of studies, we weren't even given our books. I mean, you were a teacher, you have hundreds of students and you had uh, your students uh, during previous years of uh, studies. Um, but do you have any materials to, to give lessons? Like, like we were just sitting a week of, a week of sitting during classes. That's it. Okay. Okay, then after, after it, I went to Russia. So my move to Russia was because of that, because my private university was closed. We were trans transferred in, in a state university and I didn't like the process of studies. And um, I had to move to Russia. Uh, to yet another private university. Luckily, at that time, private universities uh, in Russia were not uh, like appalling or like they were... Um, the Russian government was okay with private universities at that time. Okay, so I got my education at Smolensk University for Humanities and uh, at that time it was a rather big uh, private university. It had different uh, faculties and my faculty was foreign languages faculty and my profession was linguist slash interpreter slash translator. So I had been studying for five years and those five years were the best in my life <laughs> because um, I had the chance not only to learn but to uh, be a part of a theatrical group um, of the university and we were uh, giving performances um, in different languages. Uh, we had performances in German and in French. At the university I studied two languages like professionally. My first uh, foreign language is English and my second foreign language is German. But now I... Unfortunately, I cannot speak German because um, I've never been using it after the, gradu the graduation. During my university years, we studied a lot of subjects in English, uh, in Russian. And guys, our teachers uh, advised us to watch and to listen more in English. Uh, but it was like 2005 and um, internet was not so so developed. It was kind of a kind of problem to find a movie in English, to find some something in English. So I, I, I used to read books. I read a lot of books during my studies, uh, a lot of English books. Someone of you asked if uh, my English helps me with my work. Okay guys, in 2010 I graduated summa cum laude from the university and became a linguist, interpreter and translator and began looking for a job. And to my great surprise, I didn't manage to find a job according to my profession. Uh, so I had to move uh, to St. Petersburg from Smolensk and there was a new surprise here. I didn't manage to find a job according to my profession in St. Petersburg and I had to, um, to work as a secretary with the higher education, with two languages, uh, in my pocket, in my mouth, um, and um, getting the lowest salary maybe in the city. That I, I don't know, but it was too low, very low. Uh, so 
uh, the situation with jobs was uh, not very good for me for me uh, at that time the situation with the jobs in st petersburg was okay okay quite okay but uh, it was not okay for me because when i was able to arrange an interview with some company um, i came to their office and all i could hear from them was oh you're a graduate um, we don't need graduates because we have to uh, teach you how to work uh, because you have only theoretical uh, theoretical knowledge and we need um, an experienced uh, specialist but you know how can i be an experienced specialist if nobody wants to hire me <laughs> Uh, uh, even for the lowest uh, salary okay so uh, I found um, found a position at the airport uh, at that time in 2010 they had I remember it it had they had the salary of 17,000 rubles and my apartment at that time costed me like 11,000 rubles like more than half of my salary I had to um, give for rent so of course I couldn't uh, take such a job uh, and I had to take a job of, sec of a secretary at a logistics company and they paid me for it like 24,000 rubles almost immediately i started to look for a new job that was at least somehow connected with using english using foreign languages um, during my work uh, and you know many many um, companies in russia um, will tell you that you need uh, english in your work but in reality like you will be using it once a year to write an email to some foreign company like hello we are a company from st petersburg we are looking for this and that could you uh, make us an offer that's it that's the knowledge of english that people need in their work <laughs> okay but now it's okay but now uh, 10 years passed, um, 9 years passed and I was was able to find a job that uh, was connected um, with using English. It took me 9 years to find such a job. And partly because I didn't want to lose my English skills, I started this channel uh, to be able to use my English and to um, introduce you to Russia and Russian people and uh, Russian culture and our food, snacks, tea, coffee and the stuff like that. And though we were studying British English at the university, I know that I sound more like an American. And that is because I watched a lot of American movies and I owe my pronunciation to a theoretical phonetics course at the university and Friends series. So I watched Friends series three times, all 240 episodes if I'm not mistaken. So uh, <laughs> when you watch uh, a TV show like three times, believe me, you will be able to, to improve your pronunciation. And besides, when you have theoretical knowledge in phonetics and then you can hear how natives pronounce it in movies, so you can combine your theory and practice and believe me in such a way you will improve your pronunciation and will start to speak more or less like a native speaker of your tar target language i know that my english is not perfect for a person who got a special education in linguistics uh, but i um, i do 
all um, my best to learn something new each day. Uh, I learn new words when I read your comments. Thank you for your comments because I learn a lot of new things um, considered English and considered your life from your comments. And I, wa I watch um, English speaking YouTubers and I learn um, English from them. And I know um, that maintaining uh, English on a professional level requires uh, that you have um, a job um, can, regarding your like profession. And um, I've never worked as a linguist or an interpreter, and I only have an opportunity to work as a translator, as a side job. Uh, so uh, I do all my best to sound like a native speaker, like an American. I do my best to so that you couldn't understand that I come from Russia. Not because I'm shy about that, but because I know that uh, once I study a foreign language, it's my responsibility to be to study it to the extent that you could understand me easily. It's not your responsibility to understand my like like broken English or Spanish or German or um, other languages that people study. It's fully, it's only my responsibility to do my best to sound and to speak uh, like you do guys. Uh, and it's my opinion about learning languages. I know that many for uh, many people who study foreign languages they they do like ah they will understand me anyway so I will I will not be learning grammar or uh, new vocabulary they will understand me. It's okay. Um, but it's not the point for me. I want to sound like a native speaker. So guys, that was my story with studying English. Now you know why I speak English so well. Though it's not perfect, but yes, I speak English well and I do all my best to do that by speaking to you on the camera, by introducing you to Russia. And I think I have some success in it. I hope this video will maybe will help you with your target language and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. See you in my next video. Bye guys!